Tuition, books, even room and board, all the costs you consider when looking at colleges and universities. But what about the fees? You see, colleges use fees to offset expenses, but since they're usually billed each semester, you're probably not going to notice them adding up very quickly. News 6 anchor Julie Broughton has ways to spot the cost and save money. Mary Kate, Christian, and Samantha are shopping for a college. To so the other side of the Welcome Center, we have enrollment services. They all share one concern how to pay for their education. First, I started looking for colleges that have what I want to do, my major, my programs, and then, then I started looking at tuition and fees. Parents and students know a college education doesn't come cheap, but tuition is just one part of the expense. Fees can add thousands of dollars more to your four year bill. They definitely sneak up on you. Like tuition, fees can differ from school to school. It pays to shop around and see which school, tuition, and fees can fit your budget. At Valencia College in Orlando, students can expect to pay a handful of fees, including a capital improvement fee, a technology fee, a financial aid fee, and a student activity fee. Grand total about $20.40 per credit hour. Those same four fees at UCF, however, will cost a student $8.35 more per credit hour. That's more than $1,000 more over the lifetime of a typical four-year, 120-credit-hour degree. UCF also has other fees for most students, including a health fee, an athletics fee, and a transportation access fee. The grand total, $63.01 per semester hour or about 7,500 over four years. One thing to keep in mind when comparing Valencia and UCF is campus activities and experience. While Valencia has about two thirds the students of UCF, UCF offers many more degrees, campus activities, and a much larger campus. Are there ways for students to avoid fees? If you can survive without a car on campus, you can save money on parking. At UCF, on-campus student parking runs about $100 a year. UCF and some other state schools also give online students a waiver for some fees because they seldom are on campus. Many classes can be taken online, cutting down on commuting costs and becoming a better fit for some student schedules. The bottom line, students and parents alike need to do their homework and factor in fees when figuring out how to pay for college. Julie Broughton, News 6.